So, Sunday, I went on Instagram, posted a bunch of bow ties, and asked a lot of you guys to basically pick which ones you wanted me to build an outfit around. Basically for all the outfits so far, I've compiled a shirt, a vest or sweater, or maybe a jacket that goes on top, pants, a bow tie, and a pin. For this one, we have the textural solid bow tie. It's a nice orange, it's got some like, um, really fine polka dots in there and I've paired that with this really nice patterned shirt it's got foxes golfing on it which brings out the orange in the bow tie and also doesn't compete too much with it and then for the pants this has a bit of a reddish tint to it which plays really nicely with the red flags in the shirt and then to finish off we have this BB-8 pin with a nice orange heart in it I'm using a lot of short sleeves for all of these just to kind of be more in the spring summer vibe because fall is pretty much ending now. Now the decision really is shoes, belt, and watch. So we're gonna pick those out. I have my monk straps. What I love about these is the double texture. So we've got the nice broken in leather and then we've got a nice suede here on top. And then we've got a nice leather sneaker, faux leather sneaker. We have the dark brown detail at the heel. We've also got a nice brown that plays well with pant. And we've got the white soles that play really well with the white shirt. And then when it comes to watches, this guy has the orange detail on it and it's got some black hardware on it. That is kind of the thought process with the first outfit. So I'm going to pop that on, work out the details on that, and then we'll move on to the next outfit. The vintage bow tie. So I paired it with this smaller polka dot blue shirt that I threw a solid pastel yellow over. I've got this cute little dinosaur bow tie, uh, dinosaur bow tie, dinosaur pin. He's wearing a yellow bow tie and he is green, so that fits perfectly. And then for the pant, there's been some argument in the past as to what color these pants are. I think they're more of a green. Some people see them as blue, so they're, they're definitely a blue-green pant. So I just thought overall it was a nice color scheme. In terms of shoes, I'm thinking it has to be brown. Maybe we'll go with the monk straps this time. And then I wonder what it would look like if we threw a fedora on there. Just for the sake of it, I guess. On to the next outfit. The idea here is playing off of these kind of like orangey yellows and the black that is in the bow tie. So we've got this perfect shirt here and I've got this yellow Polaroid pin. And we've basically set it on a black backdrop. So jean jacket and black jeans. I've worn this shirt with the jeans and the jacket before, and I paired it with my white sneakers, so I think I'm gonna do that again. Whether or not this is tucked in, though, is the question, and I think what we're going to do is not tuck it in. We'll see how that goes, but on to outfit number four. So this is double-sided. It's got polka dots on one side and kind of this plaid pattern on the other. So we're gonna use the polka dotted side, and I'm thinking I'm gonna kind of twist the bow tie a bit to make the knot the plaid pattern. And then we paired it with this light blue shirt, which also has these little white palm trees on it. You can see that. And then to go with the gray, we have this gray vest that has these really nice dark blue lines in it. And then I've got a pair of pants that matches pretty well with that gray, so we've got those slacks. The last outfit build, I had a pair of kind of dark charcoal gray boots, so I think we'll use those. The white sneakers should go pretty well with this as well. Outfit number five, up next. I've always really liked this bow tie. Uh, I just think it's a really fun pattern, fun colors. And I paired it with this blue polo from Uniqlo, which has got this nice white stripe detail on the collar as well as on the sleeve. And then I paired it with this stay cool pin. And then we've got some bluish gray slacks that I paired it with. They're pretty much ankle length. So I'm gonna pair these with my my white sneakers, I think it'll look really nice. And we're gonna have some black accents on it. And I think this might be the one where I switch my glasses over to my silver wire frames. We might even pair this with my silver watch as well because it's got a blue face on it. And we'll do the black belt that has the silver hardware on it. So it's a different belt from what you've seen before. I think it'll all go really well. Now on to outfit number six. 
So this bow tie, it's got some paper cranes on it and it's also got some nice green. But I've paired it with this shirt from Express, which is a micro check shirt. I've also paired it with the Mike Wazowski pin. I was hoping to be able to pair one of these outfits with my matching Sully pin, but uh, that did not really work out so well, so maybe next time. And then we have the light green pants that you guys saw in my last outfit build. And over this shirt, we've thrown this dark green sweater on. In regards to details, the charcoal boot is probably the best choice for this. Although, because Mike's on there and it's kind of a fun bow tie. I'm kind of wondering if I should go with my kind of more combat style black boots. Cuff the jeans a little bit more. Maybe leave the shirt untucked so that way it pokes out a little bit on the bottom. We'll see. Have the black belt with the black hardware on it and then pair it with my all black Star Wars watch from Nixon. All right, outfit number seven. Now this is playing off of the striped bow tie. And I decided to pair this with kind of like polka dot patterned shirt from Express as well as a dark blue vest on top and this nice little orange juice pin. We paired it with this kind of dark blue pant which is bordering on gray. Ideally I'd want something that matches this vest but since I don't have anything that matches we'll make do with a different color. We'll see how the Chelsea boot, look, Chelsea boot looks. But if that doesn't work, we will go back to the charcoal boot and finish off this look. Watch-wise, we might go with Movado to play off the white here. We'll see. I've got a few black watches, so we'll, we'll play with it. Might go back to the Nixon. Now, last but not least, number eight, which is our patriotic bow tie. It's the peace sign that's got red, white, and blue all over it. We've got the bow tie here and I paired it with a beer pin. Second choice was this pin right here, which came from the same set, but it was too similar to the bow tie, so I wanted to mix things up, and I love beer, so. Yeah, then we paired it with this jean shirt from Levi's. It's got some silver accents on it, and there's some black on the buttons as well, which go back to the black outline in the pin. And then we paired it with some red pants. I did have another option where I was going to put this maroon sweater over it, but I'm not quite sure if we're gonna do that still. I think my desert sand color boot might work well with this and then pair it with the watch that is a matching band, black hardware on it, and a light blue accents on the face of the watch. That actually might pair really well with this. So uh, yeah, I think we're good. That is all the outfits that we've laid out so far. Um, now it's time to try them all on and analyze them for you. I'm excited, I get to try on more stuff. So, uh, we'll be back.